welcome back. Got a new new backdrop. Do have a couple of uh, American flags coming in that will be taking the Gadgetons flag spot. This is actually my backdrop for what I'm doing, my gun related shit. But I uh, do plan on getting a table and at least one chair for me, maybe another chair for uh, you know when I have people over reviewing beers. Upgraded my lighting system. We got a nice uh, floor light. You can see everything's nice and bright. Had a little issue running uh, running this because then it, this it seems to you know, make everything too bright. So I figured uh, I got a lamp down there. I might get a clamp light. Make this look all professional and shit. Uh, I've had this for uh, about a week, two weeks, something around there. I think maybe two weeks. Did I get it last week? I don't remember. Uh, this is Elk Valley Brewing Company. Uh, they're out of Oklahoma City, which is 30 minutes up that way. Um, this was a rather expensive beer. This is a little over $5 a can. And, uh... Oh, shit. About dropped it. That would fucking sucked. There's a reason why it was so expensive. Yep. 12.4%. Uh, let me read to you what it is. It's an ale brewed with pumpkin spices, not a not a comma, pumpkin spices, and aged in oak bourbon barrels. So don't know if it actually has pumpkin in it. Well, that kind of sucked. I killed a lot of my light. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get a clamp light or something. Not enough light in this fucking garage. Now I can't see. <laughs> That's just going to have to be on for now. Let me read it. Uh, this huge gravity imperial pumpkin ale is brewed with copious amounts of pumpkin. Oh, apparently it does have pumpkin in it. It is spiced with just the right amount to stand up to high alcohol and resi residual sweetness. We then age this, bourbon, age this in bourbon barrels until the time is just right for you to enjoy. Drink some now and age some for later. You'll be glad you did. That does say... 2015, if you can read it, light glare everywhere. Um, so it does have pumpkin in it. Uh, too bad that he put the sticker on the seam. I actually took the sticker off and put it on the gun safe. Oh, well. All right, so let's uh, let's hop into this. Hopefully, it's going to be a darker color. It looks like it might be. Smell it from here, shit. It was like fucking wine. I'm using the Canton Brewing Company glass from Ethan. There we are, there we are. With that alcohol, don't expect any head. Smells like wine. That's really strange. Stay. All right. As you can see, it's a kind of a darker color. Give you a, a kind of copperish. Getting slight hint of bourbon, not a not a whole bunch. The wine kind of smell kind of gone away. My son's playing Forza Six. He got an Xbox One for Christmas. I have a twenty gauge and a bike and some other shit. He's got a new ten inch tablet sitting in the gun safe. He'll get in about a week or so because of his birthday. It is 41 degrees. Ah, man, I don't know. I really am not, I'm not too keen on the smell. It's kind of sour and sweet. Let's get into it. Oh, fuck. Okay. 
At least that filling went away pretty quickly. Well, that's that sure is warm. Mm. Oh, 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 oh shit! Woo! That bourbon's getting you. That's gonna be a sipper. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just a shock. Getting a little spiciness. Definitely getting the woodiness from the oak. Getting a little sourness from the the bourbon. I really can't tell if it's pumpkin or not. Pretty, pretty strong. I did uh, let this sit out for uh, about half an hour. As you can tell there's no condensation on it. I was on the phone with my stepdad. Got him a new uh, 30 watt uh, mod. He vapes and he uses one of those little douche flute little pins. And uh, he doesn't need, you know, a lot of power, so. Got him a 30 watt, and got him a, a sub ohm tank, uh, 5 ohm resistance, and uh, uh, should do him rather well. Takes a single 18650. Uh, he's smoked cigarettes forever. Uh, the vaping helped him, uh, and then he, he just wanted more, and he, he wasn't getting it, so now he's going to be getting it. A sipper. I am getting the pumpkin though. Definitely getting that alcohol sweetness. And you get the sourness, and you get the wood, and the bourbon, and the oak barrels. You get the spiciness. It's not dry. Thank God. And on the very end, you're getting very slight to mild bitterness. And you can taste uh, an unsweetened pumpkin. Which actually ties in rather well with the, uh, the woodiness. You know, the, the kind of wood that does this and has the balls and tip and cheap stuff. Yeah. The soup dispenser. Horny fixer, you like that uh, cream of some young guy? Mm, I am actually enjoying this now. It was just such a shock to the system. I'm gonna have to sit down and enjoy this, but um, as is, I really, I really do like it. I don't like the price, but I mean, it's 12.4 percent. Uh, a four pack was actually a little cheaper; it wasn't near the six dollars a can. Uh, I believe it was like 1980 or 1990 or something. It was under 20 bucks. Got this at a big ass place in uh, Norman, where uh, the OU Chokers, Sooners, whatever the fuck they want to call themselves. That's where they uh that's where they're at. Hmm. Burped up some bacon. Yep. Tasty shit. Okay. Ready to go ahead and give it a number. I'm gonna actually sit down and enjoy the uh other half. Hopefully rather quickly before it gets too warm. Um would I get it again? Probably not. Um, 
I'm not really into beers I have to sit down and, and uh, force to enjoy. Um, but I mean, I do like it. And you get so much characteristics out of it. The sweetness, which is actually died down now that I'm this far into it. You get the woodiness. You get the bourbon, and those kind of uh, those kind of go hand in hand. Uh, it seems like each drink I take is kind of different. On which one comes first? And you know, I'm talk you know what I'm talking about. Then you get the, uh, the spiciness. A little bitterness, and then, like I said, uh, once that sweetness is pretty much gone, and you get kind of a unsweetened pumpkin. I think I've reviewed uh, three other things by Elk Valley. It might have been, might have been more. I think it might have been more their Nemesis. Um, yeah, the coffee Nemesis. I didn't like that. Uh, their pale ale and their experimental IPA. That experimental IPA, shit, amazing. So I mean, they're they're doing pretty good. Uh, one has been kind of gross, and even Ebo we thought it was pretty bad. He said it was a really aggressive, cheap tasting coffee. I thought the coffee flavor was not there. That's just me. Uh, he, he might drink that Folgers shit, you know, whatever. This doesn't disappoint either. This is, uh, I'd say, the, along their gourmet uh, line. I do like it though. I'm going to toss this a, uh, I'm going to give it a 9. So if you see it, which I highly doubt you will, but if you ever do, can again. The Pumpkin, I might be pronouncing it wrong, by O Valley Brewing. Wish I could have saved that wrap, but dickheads put that sticker on it. So I don't know if I can get that off or not. Mm. Might be able to. Mm. Have fun, drink respons responsibly, love the earth, please recycle. Speaking of please recy recycle, here in Shawnee, we pay, we are forced to pay $3 a month for a little blue bin to recycle shit in. Forced to. I mean, uh, even if you don't recycle, you fucking have to pay for it. I got it sitting beside the house with some uh, five quart jugs of used motor oil in it. I don't recycle. Sorry, if you you know you drive a Prius and you, you slick Obama's asshole, whatever else. I don't do it. Fuck. I fucking hate Shawnee. All right, we'll put this down. I'm gonna have a little talk. Uh, a lot of people do vape, like I just said, uh, my stepdad want to get him into it. Uh, now you're watching these videos, me and Jesse, he's, uh, he's got one of these. A lot of glare, holy shit, a lot of glare. There we are. It's a Smock X-Cube 2. He uh, got me one for Christmas. Um, these videos you're watching with me and Jesse are... Should be, I think we did this video first, second week or so, December. Well, he got me one for Christmas. My wife wasn't happy. But, uh, you know, can't always make your, can't always make your wife happy. But, uh, this is a 160 watt mod, but I have the upgraded firmware to 180 watt. And that's, holy shit, that's high. I keep it at about uh, between 30 to 45, something around there, uh, even then. Getting 45, 50, 50 watts, it's 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 pretty warm. Uh, if you know what about resistance, uh, the lower resistance, uh, the longer it takes to heat up uh, the coil. The higher the resistance, the faster you're going to get. You know the red hot coil and popping juice in your mouth, which you know if you're a Hornet fixer, since he's over at Ebomi's, and he's you know delivering him the uh, crema Samyang Guy soup. Uh, you kind of get the idea. But this is running a 0.28 coil on the resistance. Uh, I'd like to get it actually a little lower, but I'll, like I said, I'll work with that shit. And uh, homeboy, I've uh, got a video out him for him at his old location. I'll be making a new one hopefully soon. Of course, I've been saying that for about a year now. Uh, Jason over at Wicked Vapes. 
maybe up some juice. This is uh, the root beer float. It's the no nicotine. All right, so here we are running at the 38 watts. There you go. I'm telling you, you get the heater kicking on. You get the vanilla, you get the root beer. It's just amazing. Uh, like I said, this is at 38 watts. If I dropped it down to about 34, 35, I'd get uh, a little less popping. I am getting a little bit of popping on my lips, but this stuff is fucking amazing. Uh, there you go. I'll be getting a video out for Jason. Let's see if I can get a good hit here. Big old cloud, holy shit. It's just amazing though. This is the zero milligram, like I said. He, uh, he goes up to 5, 10, 15, 20, and 24. And holy shit, you got 24 milligrams. I hope you're not running a dripper. Doesn't burn, doesn't feel like shit on you. I, you know, I've had some juice, um, you vape it, God, it just leaves a bad aftertaste, burns your throat. I like it. Mmm, tasty. Stop dragging them. Doesn't leave that shitty smell in your mouth. Doesn't feel like you got you no know, shit in your in your in your throat, in your nose. Some good shit. Um, he eventually plans on getting a YouTube channel up. They do a bunch of cloud chasing. Uh, he's gonna be actually relocating again, hopefully uh, soon. I'm not going to reveal all the details about that. That'll be for him to do. Uh, they're going to get a lot bigger location. Uh, should be pretty sweet. You know, let me crack this sucker up to uh, 50 watts. See, like I said, come that quick as fuck then. I can see why this would be a good alternative to smoking. Put this back down on 38, 37, in other word. Because, I mean, you get the, the great flavor. You find other shit that you like. I mean, with cigarettes, you get cigarettes or menthol or, I mean, you don't have much of a selection, right? So, uh, I mean, with this, Ruger Float Amazing had fucking tons of other fucking flavors. Uh, I'm not sure if he's going to have anything uh, set up where you can order online. I don't know about all that shit, so uh, there you go. Just a quick little video. The Smock XQ2. And we'll be seeing you.